Hey everyone, welcome to Earthling Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect steak every time, even for beginners. Now I often don't do this extra steps that I'm going to show you, but it's super simple and it ensures you're going to get a perfect cook every time. So maybe you go to the store and I bought myself a really nice uh, New York strip here. It was like 20 bucks. I'll show you the steak in a minute. Great marbling on it. And I don't want to mess this up if I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this without any chance of messing up. What we're going to do is start in a pan and we're going to sear each side and then we're going to finish it in the oven with a meat thermometer. And as you can see down here, these are the temperatures you're going to want to get to depending on how you want your steak done. So I want mine to be like a medium to medium rare. So I'm going to cook mine to about 130. But if you want yours a medium, medium well or well, you just go higher. And this is really good if you want a well done steak. If you're a person that doesn't like any pink in your steak, well, you don't want to overcook it and get it all dried out and, and tough and chewy. So you want to stop it right at 160 so that it's still nice and juicy, but well done for you. So let me get this steak out. Got my pan heating up. You can use any pan you want. I am using a cast iron, but any pan will work. You want a really hot pan, so let that uh, high heat get on there for a good 5-10 minutes before you throw your steak in. Let's go ahead to the next step. Look at this steak. This thing is a thick monster with so much marbling. It looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Now, this video is not really about seasoning, but for seasoning, I usually throw on some oil. And just get that kind of coating everywhere. And then I usually do salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. But today I'm just going to go simple. And I have a little shaker over here. That is just a steak and chop seasoning so it's just all in one kind of easy seasoning so i'm just going to put that on there and now we are ready to cook now i also suggest you take your steak out of your refrigerator about half an hour before you're going to cook it you don't want this inside of this to be all super cold you kind of want to let it get almost to room temperature before you cook it so I've had mine sitting out about 20 minutes. I'm going to let my pan heat up, and then we'll get cooking. Be sure to have your oven set to 300 degrees as well, so that's ready to go. My pan is ready. Let's get cooking. We're just going to throw this into our pan. Make sure the heat's high, and we're just going to cook this about two minutes per side and get a nice sear. It's been two minutes. Oh, yeah, nice sear there. Now we're going to leave it two minutes on this side. Second side is done. Oh yeah, that looks great. All right, we're gonna throw this onto our pan now. <coughs> Turn off my heat on there. And now what we're gonna do <coughs> is throw our temperature meter in here, our thermometer in here, right in the middle of a fairly large part and get about halfway in. Now that sits on the pan nice and perfect here. And now we just throw this in the oven. And when this hits 130, we'll take it out. Get it positioned in there right and easy so you can see it and make sure you have a uh, meat thermometer that can go in the oven. Not one of them digital ones that you can, uh, you know, not put into heat. This one is oven safe. So all I got to do is just open the lid and take a peek every once in a while and we'll see when it's done. We are at 130 degrees, just perfect. I'm going to take out my thermometer. Oop! Don't let that hit me in the foot, that would hurt. And now I'm going to pick up the steak and put it on some foil with butter on top and underneath. So we're going to just flip this up and it'll go on there. And we're just going to leave this wrapped up in the foil now for five minutes. And here's our final product. Let's cut into this. Go right down the middle and see how it is. Very nice. A nice medium rare. The camera colors sometimes change it up. It's very red inside, but it is not raw. That is looking great. Let me go ahead and taste a piece. Oh my. Melt in your mouth. Now this is a prime steak, so it's you know, there's like choice select prime. So it has that extra fat and marbling and it is so tasty. 
check that out. Came out exactly how I wanted it, just around a medium, uh, medium well, uh, medium rare to rare. Very nice color in there. It's just perfectly done. You cannot mess up a steak if you do it this way, and especially thicker steaks. It's really nice to do this method. Have any questions? Let me know. I'm gonna eat this up now, and uh, we'll see y'all later. This was Earthling Cooks.